Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bryn and today I have for you guys a massive empties video. So I have used up a ton of stuff over winter and I want to share everything with you guys. So if you don't know, I don't really do reviews on my channel of individual products. So what I like to do is just save everything till I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys and basically go over whether I liked it, whether I didn't like it, whether I would repurchase it or not. That way you guys know um, whether or not to spend your money on things or save it. So, and basically my opinion on everything. So let's get into it. I have a ton of stuff. <laughs> I show you guys every empties video, my massive box of items. So I'm gonna do that for you now. Um, it's really heavy, but yeah, a ton of stuff that I wanna show you guys. So let's just get into it. So first off, I always go through like body care items and then I'll save the candles for last. So first off, I have some hand sanitizers. Looks like I went through three of them. So first up is iced cinnamon rolls. This scent, I don't know if I'm just getting sick of it or what, but um, this one is like an orange cinnamon clove, like basically a cinnamon roll scent. Um, but I don't know. I've just kind of noticed that it's a little heavy on that clove note, which you guys know I'm not really fond of clove. So I don't know. I, it's still a good scent, but I'm just kind of getting sick of it. Um, another one is Mary Cookie. This packaging is super cute the, just the little gingerbread men on there I don't know why it's gingerbread men with Mary Cookie because wouldn't that be like gingerbread but anyway um this one's just a classic scent enjoyed it and then the last one I have is cracking me up peppermint sugar cookie this was really good in hand sanitizer um, I think that peppermint sh sugar cookie, it smells just like Thin Mints from Girl Scout cookies. So, um, love this one. So that was it for hand sanitizers. Next, moving on to hand soaps. For some reason, I got through a lot of hand soap. I think there is five. So first up is First Snow. And first of all, first, 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 I'm saying that so many times, but oh my gosh, so sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay, first no. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. This is probably my favorite packaging that they have ever done. It's like a iridescent snowflake, so beautiful. Um, the notes are cool, crisp air, frozen pine, and snowy mint. And this was like a really fresh pine scent. Somehow it just worked. So love this one. Again, I did an iced cinnamon rolls soap. And this one is warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange and sugar glaze. Again, I think I'm getting a little sick of it, but still a good scent. The next one is Pretty Sweet Marshmallow Flurries. This is definitely my all time favorite soap scent is the Marshmallow Flurries. And the notes are Warm Marshmallow, Fresh Lavender, and Smoked Woods. I guess I just love the Lavender Marshmallow scent, but it smells so good. I totally would repurchase this and I have backups, so. Um, next is Cozy Vanilla Almond. This one was Vanilla Orchid, Sugared Almond, and Sweet Musk. This one, I couldn't really smell this one. It was very, very light. So, it smells good now that I'm, like, smelling it up close. But on my hands, I really couldn't smell it. So, kind of sad. But there's that one. And then the last one is Glistening Gumdrops. 
and this packaging was so absolutely adorable i love the little bear the color is so pretty it's like a blue but there's hints of like purple in there so cute this one is sparkling gumdrops juicy orange and holiday spice and now that i'm reading the notes i did smell something spicy in here i would attribute it to like smelling kind of like licorice so it did smell it does smell like candy but there's also that like licorice note in there so i don't know if i would repurchase this one but the packaging on point for sure so moving on to body care items i just have a couple so first up we'll do some body washes first off i have christmas cookies this one is from the land of sweets collection that was from 2019 i believe so i really wanted to use this up it was getting kind of old and this one i mean it just smells like cookies you know so that's always a good fallback one you know just a classic cookie scent pretty good next i actually have a from the brand philosophy i have a shower gel and this one was cozy by the fire and i don't really know what the scent notes are supposed to be it says the wind whistles outside and snowdrops dot the windows but here at home all is happy and bright the wood crackles as you're comforted by warm spice as the flames flicker in the fireplace get cozy by the fire and admire the winter jasmine and red flowers on this wondrous winter night that was a mouthful sorry guys but this one i think it was supposed to smell like a smoky floral scent but it was a little too floral for me so i'm probably not gonna repurchase but it was cute i don't know <laughs> um now on to a couple of lotions so i used up from bath and body works again black raspberry vanilla this one is fresh raspberries vine ripened blackberries vanilla orchid creamy sandalwood and cashmere woods this one for some reason i just picked it up randomly at an sas sale and like kind of threw it to the side and it didn't seem too exciting, but let me tell you, when I used it, the blackberry is so juicy and delicious in this. They need to bring this scent back. Like, it doesn't seem that exciting, but it is really delicious. And the blackberry is so juicy and, like, it's so good. So, they should bring this one back. Then another lotion I used up was an aromatherapy, the Peaceful Tea Tree and Peppermint. This scent is definitely one of my husband and I, um, our favorite scents for aromatherapy. And this one, this formula, I really don't like. It's really nice glass bottle. Like it would totally be good for a nice gift, but I just really don't like the formula. I really prefer the body creams. So I don't think I'm going to repurchase the glass like pumps anymore. So there's that. But I love this scent. It's just like a totally refreshing. It just with the peppermint, it kind of like clears your sinuses and clears your mind. And I just really do love this scent. So would repurchase the scent, but just in the body cream form. Now, I have a couple of hair care products, but I don't know. I haven't found my, like, holy grail hair product or brand yet. So, I really want to know if you guys can leave a comment down below what your favorite hair care, like, brand is because I haven't really found it yet. So, I did use up the Dove Intensive Repair Conditioner. I did also use the um, shampoo with this, but it's still my shower. I haven't quite finished it yet, but um, I just think it was okay. Like the smell wasn't great, but it was okay. Um, and I just, I didn't feel like it really did anything. 
I don't know if it repaired my hair. My hair isn't that damaged right now because it's, I haven't dyed it in a while. Um, so I don't know if it really did anything, but I also used up the S Factor Flat Iron Shine Spray. I don't think they even make this brand anymore. S Factor by T-I-G-I. -I. I don't even think they sell that um, collection anymore. But I mean, I think it's really good to have, oops, I think it's really good to have a flat iron spray to protect your hair. I straighten my hair a lot. I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but my hair is really naturally frizzy and curly and I straighten it. It's up now, but, um, so I use flat iron spray quite a lot. I don't know if this one was like, did anything amazing. It did smell really good. So there's that, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite brand is because I've tried a lot and I haven't found anything that I absolutely love. So let me know. Now moving on to the candles. I burn a ton of candles, you guys, this winter. I winter, fall and winter time is I go crazy on the candles and then spring and summer I hardly burn any because I love to just have like a movie night. Like we watched a lot of Christmas movies and it's so fun to just burn candles. So there's a ton, so let's just get into them. First up I have Evergreen. This one is White Fur Needles Fresh Cedarwood Sweet Sap. This one smells like such an authentic tree scent. You get like the bark even. Um, my husband really loved this candle and it was super strong. And he would come in every day from work and be like, wow, it's, that candle smells so strong. So would definitely repurchase. The next one is kind of an old scent that came out a few years ago, but it is Mary Madeline Cookie. And I really love the packaging on this one. It's super cute. This one is Baked Madeline Cookies, Spiced Almond, Sweet Orange, and Toasted Coconut. I really bought this candle on a whim. Like, I wasn't crazy about it. But when I burned it, it smelled so delicious. I'm not crazy about orange scents. But this one was like an orange vanilla cookie. And it smelled so good. I really want them to bring this scent back. So definitely I would repurchase this if it ever came back. Next I have, oh, I have the infamous candied maple bacon candle. I wanted to burn this right away and see what the deal was with this. Like, was it good burning? I did mention in another video that this candle was super strong, but actually... I take that back. <laughs> um, the reason, I don't know what it was. Like the one night I was burning it, it was like right near me so I could smell it and it did smell strong. But I have to say that this one actually was kind of a dud. I really couldn't smell it. Like it, I could only smell it that one time, but the rest of the time burning it, I couldn't smell it at all. I, I, like I even tried to get up and like whiff it and I really couldn't. So Super disappointing in the throw on this one because it smelled, when you smelled it on cold, it smelled like it was going to be strong, but I really wish I could have smelled more bacon. I, it's so weird to say that, but I really wish I could have smelled it more. So there is that one. I do have a couple backups, but I don't know. It's fine to just have in your collection, but burning it, it was kind of a dud. Next, I have the Black Cherry Merlot. Um, this one is Dark Cherry Black Raspberry Sumptuous Merlot. This one, for some reason, when I burned it, it smelled very floral, like perfumey. It has like a weird perfume note that I really don't like. I wish they had more like straight up just cherry scented candles, just cherry by itself. But this one had a weird perfume note that I really didn't like. So would not repurchase. Then um, I burned that one with this one, which is hot cocoa and cream. I was trying to get like a cherry chocolate note or scent going. But this one 
The notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows. This one I couldn't smell whatsoever. Like, I, oh, I didn't give the throw note, like my number scale. I didn't do a number scale on those ones. But this one I'd have to say was like maybe a two or a three. I really couldn't smell this one. And I've heard people say that hot cocoa and cream is very strong and like a powerhouse candle, but this is the first, I have to say this is the first time I've burned this one. I don't know if it was this packaging in particular was just weak, but I, I'm not going to get hot cocoa and cream again. I'm just not going to do it. So, um, next I have vanilla swirl brownie. This one is chocolate cookie crumbles, vanilla bean ice cream, chocolate drizzle. This was supposed to be a repackage of cookies and cream milkshake. And this one, again, was very, very weak. I don't know why I really couldn't smell this one. I couldn't even really, can't even really remember what it smelled like burning. <sighs> I wish this one was stronger because on cold it smells delicious, but I'm not going to repurchase this one. It was a dud. So next I have salted caramel eggnog and this one is gooey caramel, fresh sea salt, dolce de leche, sweet whipped cream. I am so sad that I did not get more of these. This one was amazing. The throw was about a seven or eight, pretty strong. And it just smelled like the most rich, caramel, delicious eggnog drink. Like you did get a hint of the eggnog, but it was mostly caramel. This one smelled so good. So I hope they bring this one back because I would definitely get this one again. Next, I have Merry Maple Pancakes. And this one is Fresh Berries Maple Syrup Cinnamon Sugar. Talk about a freaking powerhouse candle. This one was a 10. This one was so strong. And I burned another one of these, and I don't remember it being that strong. It was so strong. Like, I had it in every room of my house. It was so strong and you could just smell this throughout the entire house. The scent, I don't know. It was good. It wasn't amazing. It really didn't smell like pancakes. It more of had like a, a berry scent. But um, the scent wasn't my favorite. But boy, it was it strong. So I probably would purchase this again just because it was so strong. And you guys know, I love a strong candle. So... Next was good old vanilla snowflake. This one is frozen vanilla ice for needles, mint leaf, coconut flakes. For some reason, this packaging in particular smelled really, really weak. I don't know if I just burned it alongside a really strong candle and it kind of drowned out, but I remember the last vanilla snowflake that I burned, it was very, very strong. So I don't know what the deal with this one was, but this is a classic, a very fond favorite of mine. So I will repurchase this one and I hope they're not just getting weak. I hope it was just this packaging, but anyway. Next I have Fala, ooh, I almost chopped it. Fala La Latte. And this one is a shot of espresso, sweet vanilla foam topped with warm cookie crumbles. I heard so many people review this candle and say it was really weak and they couldn't even smell it, but I have to completely disagree. This one to me was so strong, like a solid eight. And the scent wasn't my favorite. It was kind of a nutty smell. Definitely didn't really get much coffee but it was super strong. I don't think I would repurchase it just because it wasn't my favorite scent. I really wanted a coffee scent, but this one was super strong. So I don't know why people were saying it wasn't, but everyone has, you know, different noses. So 
Next, I have the chocolate espresso martini. This one is coffee liqueur espresso splash of vodka dark chocolate swirl. This one was pretty strong, pretty strong too. Um, I'd say it was like a six or seven, but you definitely could smell it. Again, this one had like a kind of a nutty scent. Like I didn't really get much coffee, but I guess these were pretty similar. These are pretty dang similar. This one kind of has like a coconut scent now that I'm smelling it. But yeah, they're both just kind of nutty, like caramely scents to me. Next up, I have Christmas Cider. This one is pretty old. This one is from 2020. And it is Mold Cinnamon Crushed Clove Creamy Nutmeg Simmering Cider. I don't think I would get this one because it was very heavy on that clove note. And it was pretty strong. Um, definitely like a six or seven. But the clove was just too much for me. And I realized throughout the years that I just do not like clove. So next up, I have Mary Mimosa. This one is sparkling champagne, red apple slices, ice sugar crystals. When I first got this one, I really didn't care for it. And I did burn it. This one was from 2021. So I did burn it last year as well. I only burned it like halfway through and then I finished it up this year and I have to say I've kind of changed my mind on this scent. I actually do kind of like it now. To me, this is a really good candle to burn in between your like gourmand scents because it was really fresh and very strong. Um, and it kind of just refreshed my whole house. And just gave it kind of like, it was definitely a good break candle in between all the like sickeningly sweet scents. So I kind of, I kind of do like this scent now. Next up I have, okay, so that was it for the Bath and Body Works candles. And now I have a couple of candles from, I have one from Goose Creek and one from Homeworks. So I did burn a Vanilla Snow Angels from Goose Creek. This one to me smelled like a dupe of peppermint sugar cookie. And I was really, really hoping that it was going to be strong because to me, peppermint sugar cookie burns really, really weak. But I have to say this one was pretty weak too. I don't know if the... Scent is just hard to get a good throwing like peppermint cookie scent, but it's weird because twisted peppermint is so strong. So I wanted this to be stronger, but it just really wasn't. And then the last candle I have was a homeworks candle and it was the banana maple pancakes. I have burned this one in the past and the, this time when I burned it, holy moly. I don't know if it's because I was burning it in my bedroom, but this was so strong and delicious. It smells like freaking delicious maple pancakes with caramel sauce. Oh my God. It smells so freaking good. And the packaging, like this is top notch packaging. This just makes me want to eat pancakes like completely. So I have really been getting into collecting homeworks candles now because when I burn them in my room, they fill up the entire room. I love it. So I don't know if they improved the formula on these candles or what, because I remember them used to being kind of weak, but holy moly, it was strong. So that was it for my empties. I can't wait to get rid of all these and get into all my spring items. So let me know if you guys tried any of these products and if you like them. And I can't wait to start all the spring hauls and all the spring videos. So far at Bath and Body Works, I have to say I am not impressed, but we'll see if I pick up anything. Um, I'm hoping they have a good candle sale soon, but that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe. What are you guys waiting for? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.